Charlotte Bascom and this is my how-to video. So I decided to do my how-to video on PowerPoint because it's something that we use all the time and it's something that we're not only going to use in this class but in others as well. Um, and we've already done quite a bit of work on them. So I pulled up just a blank a blank uh, PowerPoint and I'm going to show you some of the cool things that you can do with it. So for example, let's say that I'm creating a PowerPoint on sharks by myself. Charlotte Bascom. Okay, now if you just give it a second to load, because my computer is kind of slow, um, once I have that all typed in, you can see right here it says designer, all of these options will come up, and they're popping up with whale options, which is kind of strange, because considering my title is sharks, but as you can see, they have a whole bunch of different here over on the side, where it brings up stuff with images related to your topic. Um, normally it probably wouldn't bring you to the wrong image because that is a whale and i'm talking about sharks so let's say i typed up the word oceans and i'm doing a powerpoint on the great barrier reef or the oceans of the world or something like that um it changes to a whole bunch of different backgrounds and it's pretty cool and you can do that for all of your slides so if you just give it a second to load it will pop up with this image right here that i clicked on and then that is what your background will look like which is pretty cool you can customize them and then i can do new slides right here i have a whole bunch of different options and they're all blank while you choose one but then you can pick the background again like i said and let's say that second slide is going to be about the great coral reef or the great barrier reef it will bring up specific images for that which is pretty cool um, you can also insert text box text boxes and tables and pictures and slides and shapes um, and I think you can even insert emojis. You can draw on the screen if you have that type of um, computer. Um, here's all your basic designs that you can um, apply. So maybe you don't want an image, maybe you just want something simple, um, a quick little PowerPoint. You've also got transitions. So for example, let's say that this word right here, oceans, I wanted it to have an animation. So I'm going to click uh, fly in. And then let's say for transitions, transitions is for the entire slide. Animations is for a single word. So let's say for transition, I want it to fade. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to slideshow. We're going to click from beginning, even though I only have one slide. We're going to start from the beginning. And as it loads here, what's going to happen is what we picked, transition and animation, is going to occur on the screen. And you can do that for so many different things. So as you see right here, I'm going to click my space bar. And then the word oceans is going to fly in. And oh, that's the end of it. So I'm going to press escape to get out of there. And you can do that with a whole bunch of different slides. Um, see, they even brought up more options over here if I wanted to change the background. Um, so let's say that I didn't want a whale in the picture. Um, while it is the same image, the actual outline of the word oceans is covered by the big box. You can't even see it. So you can do a whole bunch of different stuff like that. Let's do one more example. For example, let's say I was doing it on the rainforest. Give that a second to load. And then it will pop up with, oh, nope, not rainforest options, but you get what I'm trying to say here. It's probably just my computer because it's old, but you can type up a whole bunch of different stuff and it will bring you with different options for what you want your background to look like. Hopefully it won't bring you pictures of whales when you're looking for sharks or rainforests, but you, you get the idea of what I'm trying to say. So PowerPoint is super helpful. You can use it in a whole bunch of different classes. We've already used it a bunch in um, biology and it's just a very quick, easy and simple way to put a little presentation together and then you can change the title up here if you need it to 